Tuesday morning, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions announced that it had approved prosecution of Busia Governor's Hospital Jamong over abuse of office. According to Nordin Aji, ESCC probe report on the county established sufficient grounds to charge the county chief and nine other officers for authorizing questionable projects without following due process. DPP said Jamong acted unilaterally in signing a memorandum of understanding with an unknown company for the supply of solid waste management system without due regard leading to loss of 8 billion shillings. The beleaguered governor has however promptly responded, denying abuse of office claims leveled against him. <laughs> He insists that no money has been misappropriated. According to Ojamong, the money involved is too small to defraud. He however says he is ready to face prosecution if indeed it is established that he is culpable of any wrongdoing. Ikiwa tutapeleka kutini, nafikiri tuko na pimi na wafanyikazi wengine wa county, tuko tayari kujieleze. Lakini yala mbae wanafanya sa hii ni kama siyasa. The situation in Busia brought into the limelight, even as a section of leaders from the larger northeastern region defended ESCC Chief Executive Alaki Wako against accusations of abuse of office. The group claims the recent allegations that Wako illegally acquired a piece of land in Isiolo are attempts to blackmail the anti graft chief over his perceived future political ambitions. We clearly know the sponsors behind his ill motive. And we are saying Halake has a right to vie for any position within Isiolo County and take it from me. He has a right. And when he decides to declare his interests, we are with him 100%. But what we will not agree is a fight uh, just because he is he's a, he's, he's a civil servant. He cannot defend himself in social media. <laughs> In the meantime, professionals from West Pokot are calling for increased security for their leaders following a spate of abductions targeted at them. We demand for security for our leaders. Our leaders have failed to, to perform their duties back at home because someone cannot go at home, our people cannot pass at Marigat without them being profiled or without them, at, uh, without them getting attacked. Just some few years ago, a vehicle belonging to Mr. Tweet was burnt, the government not take any action. Mm -hmm. Some few months ago, a bus, by, uh, a bus coming from Churo to Marigat was attacked. We lost three people, the government not take any action. The group petitioned Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi and Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet to investigate political rivalries in the abduction wave. Eric Biegon reporting for Channel One News.